Welcome, I'll be reacting to The Artist. I don't know too much about this. I think it's kind of like a silent film. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original. Oh, there's the orchestra. I've actually been to a silent film like this where they had an actual orchestra playing the music. Oh, it's so cool. Highly recommend it. Oh, oh he has a dog. <laughs> Reactors. Oh. I love that he has a dog. This must be the actor. The dog came to the opening. Oh my. This is so good. I just want to watch the fake film too. Okay, we've got a bit of a singing in the rain vibe so far, which is to be expected. I like how they slightly sped up the film here so it really feels like it's antique. Oh, that is so cute. <gasps> oh my. I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Just playing it up for the cameras. Oh, she's the real love interest right there. Definitely. <laughs> Ooh, that'll be front page. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what he put his breakfast in? A coop? <gasps> you can do that? I know what I'm doing for breakfast tomorrow. I really like the just confidence that she has. You can feel it even though she has no dialogue. Why aren't you dancing? All right, that's pretty adorable. She is actually pretty peppy, so that's the perfect name. <gasps> Look at that car. Can I take it home? Oh, why don't they make cars that are pretty anymore? Look at that. And those seats. He has a picture of the dog on his wall. Do we have another hour of this adorableness? Because I'm not sure my heart can take it. That's her. It's Peppy. He's like, I know those legs. <laughs> it's a dance off. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> that's her. Is this you? Yeah, it's me. Uh oh. Get off the set? What? No. Oh, standoff. <laughs> Everyone's like, what's gonna happen? Yes. Is he supposed to be an elite spy of some kind? Kind of like James Bond, but with a dog? <gasps> Can James Bond get a dog? This must be his contact. How am I going to get across the floor? Without being suspicious, I must dance. The director's like, you're dancing with her too long. Time to move on. <laughs> it's gonna happen again. Oh my. <laughs> I love her dress here. Oh, she is 
definitely smitten. <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty hilarious. <laughs> the necklace. Oh, she's moving up. The maid now. Oh, she's climbing up even more. Good for her. Isadora Duncan? Oh no, just regular Isadora. Got a little too excited for a second. <laughs> but she's finally top billing. Ooh, Three Musketeers style. The talkies? It said sound check. Does that mean the movie will start talking too? They're all like, ah, oh, passing fad. Silliness. Talking pictures. <laughs> It'll never take. People won't like it. <gasps> Sound. <gasps> this is brilliant. I like how aware he is of this. He can't talk yet, though. Oh, it was a dream. That's wild. We're back to no sound. I wonder if silent movie stars did have the occasional nightmare about sound pictures when they started. There were some really top-notch female directors in the 20s. Lillian Gish, Dorothy Davenport, etc. But then when the talkies came out, for some reason, we kind of headed towards more male directors? I'm not sure why. Anyway, I'm sure a historian of early movie history would know much more. All silent productions stopped to work exclusively on talkies? Oh dear. Maybe he could switch movie studios. They sometimes traded people around. The world is talking now. Hmm. He's being fired? They're not going to transition him to talkie? Oh, he's gonna make his own movie. A silent extravaganza. Oh, but Peppy is one of the new faces. Good for her. Ooh. This multi-tiered set is so classic 20s. They did this a lot in movies. The only time I've really seen it used equally effectively, as I recall recently, is with the Umbrella Academy. They actually utilize a lot of 1920s film techniques in that show. They're subtle, but you can pick up on them if you've watched a lot of films from that era. I've always wondered if that was deliberate or if the Umbrella Academy just kind of accidentally did it. Great series if you haven't seen it yet. Hey, how are you? Good. What about yourself? Oh, she probably thinks they're going to work together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How sad she's coming in as he's leaving. Give him your number. <laughs> she kept the beauty mark that he put on. Oh. Yas. Call me. Oh. <laughs> These two are just clearly so miserable together. Not with the dog, obviously. Both of them just want to get out of it. I mean, she's literally drawing stuff on his pictures. Like, don't sit there being miserable together. Oh dear. You're gonna spend all your money and then it's going to be a flop. Early Jungle Cruise movie. <laughs> I feel bad for him because at this point, the audiences are all about the shiny new thing, and even though this would probably be a really good silent film, they don't care, and he's going to fail. Uh, I know what this reminds me of now. Sunset Boulevard. Oh dear. Used to be in silent pictures, used to be big. 
I am big. It's the picture that got small. I wonder if he's going to end up that way. Or if Peppy can pull him out of it. Oh no, they have dueling openings. Yeah. Oh no, her movie's going to be successful and his is not. She's leaving. It's about time. Not the dog. You do not take it out on the dog. Yeah, you better be upset about that. She's going to take the necklace off. No? That would have been dramatic if she just ripped it off and flung it at him. It's fun that they're rivals, but they obviously really like each other. She has the most beautiful eyes. Very expressive, which is perfect for this kind of film. Oh no, he's right behind her. And here we have Rain to emphasize his low mood. <gasps> oh right, forgot about that. So now he's broke. Oh, don't leave the dog. Oh. And there goes his career. It's over, George. You have two weeks to collect your souvenirs together and get out of the house? Oh, it was her house. P.S. You should go see Beauty Spot. It's incredible. Oh, no. So it kind of was an eviction notice in a way. Yeah, that was inevitable. Back to singing in the rain. a shot there just perfectly captures his emotion well he found somewhere to live and that's a massive apartment he's doing really well except for the drinking problem that needs to stop you and Fergus need to start a club oh his servant stayed it is very Sunset Boulevard Clifton okay Poor Clifton. That is loyalty. Now he wants Clifton to go have a life. Oh, keep the car. Oh. No. Clifton cares about you. He's just pushing everyone away now. This is so tragic. She's gonna buy it all. A lonely star in the background, really? Making a libation to the gods there? You do need some help. Clifton, please help. <laughs> the dog's like, where have you been? We needed you. Back to Sunset Boulevard here, watching his own films. Oh dear. That was a good stunt though. What a performance. Not every modern actor could pull this off. <gasps> no, those were good films. Oh, wow. Oh no, don't light it. No! Put that back down. No. The dog. Where's the dog? Oh, good. Is that the one with her? Oh. Please listen. She's like, if you aren't following him, I am. Do your job. Yeah, he does. Good boy. She is so luminous in this film. Just amazing. I am sure it was their film now. Mm hmm Ah, oh, Sparkle of Love. 
These two and their bromance. Now remember, don't be proud about it. You can do this. He's gonna go downstairs and all his stuff is there. <laughs> Cause she bought it. There's all his things. Mm-hmm. Oh no, he's gonna run now. Ugh. <laughs> I'm like, be careful, but also go faster. Don't choose this ending. No. <laughs> Listen to the dog. Oh, that placard. Of course, they both love to dance. Yes. Oh, the audience is gonna eat this up. <laughs> Beautiful. Can you give me just one more? With pleasure. <laughs> ah, he talked. Roll camera. Ah. Uh, that was absolutely outstanding. We need more modern silent films because I feel like there are certain stories, especially the really emotionally charged ones like this, that actually do better as a silent film. The drama is just heightened. And there are certain stories that I think work well in this format. And I feel like it's time to realize that and bring it back more often. For example, Jane Eyre, I feel like works better as a silent film. Did they ever make one? They did, 1910. I'll have to see if I can find a version somewhere online. My point is, it's easy to connect with characters who are going through emotional trauma when it's silent, because you can kind of feel with them. But even though the acting is much more melodramatic than a regular film, it also has the potential to be more moving, in my opinion anyway. And I think we got that here. Like when he was standing in the burnt remnants of his films, giving up. I honestly didn't think we were gonna get a happy ending at that point. And when they put up that bang placard, I was like, well, they went there. And then when it was just her crashing the car, which was pretty much inevitable, the way she was driving, I was like, Oh. And turning him into kind of a Gene Kelly, Fred Astaire type character, that was just the perfect ending because from the very beginning, we saw that they both loved dancing. It kind of bookended the story because when we first met them, it was about dancing and then we got the happy ending with them. Just a beautiful film, incredibly well acted and moving. Ironically, proving that he was right, that talking films, while they are the future, don't have to be the whole future. There's still room for a really good silent film. And I wish more studios would realize that.